Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my nails, but before that, I'm going to be unboxing this box, which is the Your Nail Lab box for the month of October, which is the Halloween box, and this one was curated by Vanity Vell. She is another nail content creator, so I'm really excited to be showing you guys what comes in one of the acrylic variation boxes. So this box included some rhinestones, some Halloween charms, some black holographic Halloween sequences. It also included this green reflective gel liner. It also came with the top coat and this gel polish, which is like a jelly pink color. Super pretty. I really like it. And it also came with two acrylic powders. This one is called Lux and it's a really pretty like brownish nude. And this next one is called Darling Pink and this one is like a dark pink nude super pretty i like them both so that is everything that came in this box if you guys are interested in getting your own i will have the website linked in the description so make sure to check that out so moving on to the nails i'm going to be doing some spooky nails and i'm actually going to be prepping my natural nails this time i haven't done this in a while so i started off by pushing back my cuticles and now I'm taking a 180 grit sanding band and I'm just lightly removing the shine off of my natural nails. And I am using the Melody Susie Scarlet Drill and I have it at a very low speed, literally at the lowest speed I could get it. That way I don't like over file or do too much to my nails um, since you just kind of like want to just very lightly whiz over your nails and remove the shine. Now I'm going to be gluing on these nail tips. These are the Macar Extra Extra Long Square Nail Tips and these do have a C-curve so I did squish them down a little bit to flatten them because I don't really like a super deep C-curve. I like a little C-curve but just not a lot. So yeah, I'm just gluing them down and now I'm going to be cutting them down to my desired length. I just cut a little bit off. Not too much because I did want them kind of long. And now I'm taking a 100 grit nail file and I'm just very lightly shaping the nails. You don't really have to do too much shaping with these nail tips, which is nice. And then I'm taking my Pano 5-in-1 drill bit and I'm just using this to blend the tip to my natural nail. I'm not filing my natural nail, so don't worry. I'm just going over the tip. And then I do go in with my hand file and I remove the shine off of the tip. And now I'm going to cut off any hanging cuticle with my cuticle nipper. And now I'm going to clean off my nails with some alcohol. This is just regular rubbing alcohol. I believe it's 91%. Now I'm going to dehydrate my nails with the JCPD Concepts Dehydrator. I'm just applying one coat of this. This is going to get rid of any excess oil on your nails. And now I'm going to be priming my nails with the Not Polish Triple X Bond Primer. And I do apply two coats of this. So I'm going to use the Macar Acrylic Powder in Darling Pink. And I'm going to be applying this onto the pointer finger. And I'm just applying this towards the nail bed area. And I'm just going to lightly blend it downwards. Since I will be applying some glitter afterwards. And I want the glitter to sit on top of the nude and not like underneath it if you guys know what i mean and i am using the panna brush in a size 10 and i'm using the kiara sky monomer for the middle finger i'm going to be doing a full nail of this pink acrylic so while i apply my acrylic i just want to talk to you guys a little bit about the powders i do like them i just wish that they weren't as like slow setting as they are you do have to let it like polymerize on your brush for a while before you actually apply it onto your nail otherwise it's not gonna work very nicely so um yeah when you use these make sure to let the acrylic sit on your brush until it starts getting like glossy i guess or like shiny um 
and then you could apply it to your nail and then it works really nice but yeah that's the only downside i really like the color and everything i really like how they work i just wish that they weren't super slow setting um but yeah i do recommend them they're really nice quality and these would be great for beginners um but like I said, I just wish they were a little bit quicker setting since honestly I did get a little bit impatient doing my nails with these acrylics since, you know, like I said, they, they set a little bit slower than other acrylics. But yeah, you guys will see that I got a little bit impatient on my ring finger and I ended up using like a super big bead and um, I didn't let it polymerize on my brush long enough and... It was just kind of a mess, but I ended up fixing it, so it wasn't a big deal or anything. But, yeah, you have to be a little bit patient with this acrylic. I'm not sure if... Actually, I should have put some acetone in my monomer, maybe, to, like, quicken the process. But, like, I didn't think of that at the moment. So, yeah, maybe try that. But, yeah, I do like them, and I do recommend them. And by the way, I am building up my nail with this acrylic since I won't be encapsulating this nail. So I am building my apex and everything. So on my ring finger, I'm going to be applying somewhat of a thin layer of this acrylic. Since I will be putting some glitter and stuff on top and then encapsulating in clear. So I am trying to keep it kind of thin. But also, um, I want that color to be more opaque so i do have to go over it a few times and here is my messy bead as you guys can see it got kind of messy um and i got it like on my skin a little bit but i just cleaned off my brush and then just cleaned off any acrylic that got on my skin so it's not a big deal so if this happens to you just make sure to wipe off your brush make sure that it's clean and then wipe off any of that acrylic that got on your skin. Now I'm going to be applying some little black bats that came in this little thing that was included in the box. And first I'm applying a thin layer of the not polished clear acrylic. And then I'm taking the little bats and I did like squish them a little bit. That way they're like a little bit bent since they're pretty flat and the wings were like really sticking out. So I just squished them a little bit to give them a little bit of a curve so that way they laid on the nail a lot better. And now I'm taking this glitter acrylic, which is called Halloween Town, and this one is available on my Etsy shop. So I'm just applying it randomly on the nail. I'm also going to be applying that glitter on the pointer finger, and I'm applying it towards the tip and lightly blending it upwards to create an ombre. So like I said, this glitter acrylic is available on my Etsy shop, and right now it is 40% off, so it's only $6.00. So make sure to check it out and don't miss out on this sale. I also have a coupon code, which is Halloween, for 30% off your entire purchase. So if you're not interested in getting acrylic powders, but you want to get some glitters or charms or whatever, you guys can use that code. Now I'm applying a black acrylic powder onto my pinky. And this one is from a cart. And I'm just applying it on the tip since I will be doing an ombre. I do have to say that I don't really like this acrylic. It laid on so nicely, but it did not set. Like, it did not harden. It was really weird. My nails were bendy, and I could literally, like, press down on the acrylic, and it would make, like, a little indent. And it was weird. Like, I've never had that happen to me. I don't know why. My monomer was clean, so I don't think it was my monomer. All the other nails were good. It was just the ones that I did the ombres on so i wasn't able to keep these nails on for long since i cut those down since they were bendy and weird and the top coat was like lifting so yeah has this ever happened to you guys like i don't i've never had this experience before so it was really weird um but yeah i'm going to do an ombre on the pinky and the thumb
So now I'm taking the pink acrylic and I'm applying it towards the no bit area and I'm going to blend it downwards to create that ombre. And honestly, this was kind of difficult because this acrylic is pretty sheer. So I had to apply multiple beads to cover that black. But at the end, it turned out really nice. Um, so yeah, I do recommend you to work with some wetter beads where you want your blend to be. That way it's super seamless. And then once I'm happy with how that blend looks, I'm going to be encapsulating with the not polished clear. And I will also be encapsulating the ring finger, the pointer finger, and the thumb. So these are my nails after application. So now I'm going to move on to filing. I'm taking a 100 grit nail file and I'm just lightly shaping up the nails. I don't really have to do too much because my application was pretty neat. And now I am taking the pan of 5-in-1 drill bit in a fine grit. And I'm just going around the cuticle area with this just to seal that in and make it nice and flush to my natural nail. And I do go underneath my nail a little bit just to get rid of any acrylic that got underneath there. And now I'm taking a 180 grit hand file and I'm just using that on the surface of the nail just to smooth that out. Now I'm taking a buffer and I'm just going to buff out my nails to make them really smooth and to get rid of any little scratches that the hand file left behind. So I cleaned off my nails and everything off camera and now I'm going to take this black gel polish from a cart and I'm using the Nails by Dev liner brush, I think it's the Hello Cute liner brush. And I'm going to create a V-tip on the middle finger. And once I'm happy with how that looks, I am going to cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I will come in with the second layer, but I did not show that part. But I did do two coats. Now I'm going to use the McCart White Gel Polish. And I'm going to be drawing on some little ghosts. So I start off by placing a little dot with my dotting tool and then I take my liner brush and I just drag that dot downwards and create kind of like a little swoop at the end and then I do some little arms. So going back to the V-tip, I'm going to outline it with the white gel polish and I'm going to do some little stitches. So I'm just going to draw some little random lines.
So now I'm going to be applying some rhinestones that came in the box and I'm using the McCart rhinestone glue to apply them and I am going to be applying them on the little ghost as their mouth and eyes and honestly it looked kind of weird but at the same time it looked really cute. I, I can't, I don't know how I feel about them but let me know what you guys think. So now on the middle finger i'm going to be applying a little spider charm and then some little rhinestones around it and i did use this squeeze tube glue for that since the squeeze tube one it's like a little it's a little bit thicker than the brush on glue so i used that one for the bigger charms and the other one for like rhinestones i'm also applying just one little rhinestone on the thumb and the pinky and now I'm going to use the McCart top coat to top coat all of the nails. And once I'm done top coating, I will cure for 90 seconds. And I forgot to mention, but I did cure the rhinestones and stuff before I applied the top coat. So this is the final result. I really like how they turned out. I think they're super cute. Let me know what you guys think about them down in the comments. I would really like to know. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are interested in getting your own box, make sure to check out the description. I will have the link down there along with all the other products that I use in today's video. Also, don't forget to check out my Etsy shop. I have a bunch of glitters and charms and acrylics on there. And you guys can also use code HALLOWEEN to save some money if you guys decide to purchase. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.